Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Vixie, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be setting up my brand new B6 Stylogy for the month of July. I have everything here already. I'm pretty sure I have everything, God help me if I don't, because I'm not gonna stop this video and start and do it all over again. So we're just gonna hope for the best, I think. Uh, so where are we starting? I think here is where I wanted to start. Yeah, okay. Here is where we're gonna start. Need to get my handy dandy tape, uh, roll a couple of you have asked me about this i actually got this from the reject shop they're really really cheap they're like two for five bucks and or at least they were i actually don't i haven't bought this in a really long time so i don't actually know if they still stock them i really should go back in there actually when i go back to the shops because i this is the last one i have and if they've got more i need to pick some more up so all right so for this month like normally what i do every month is i have a little splash page with like something decorative on the left usually uh, and then I have a little mini calendar which is just it's purely decorative I will never come back and look at this again ever 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 and then just something here normally I have like a picture or a quote or something but this month I actually thought it would be cool to just put some fun facts and trivia like about July like things that have happened in July since 1937 uh, all the way up to 2019 because actually nothing exciting has really happened in July in 2020 or 2021 so it kind of just sort of ends in 2019 and i actually thought this so, so it says japan resumes commercial whaling after a 30-year break and i actually thought that was really quite um newsworthy and really very sad like that that actually made me really upset um just for the fact that they've gone back to commercial whaling again i thought we had turned a, a corner there and i guess we haven't okay so um we'll get this down i don't even know why i chose like ice creams it's July, it's winter in Australia, like people aren't having ice creams. Although having said that, I should say, like our, we have an ice cream guy who comes around. First of all, okay, there's a bit of a story here. So first of all, he goes like so fast, you literally have to sprint down the street to keep up with him. I'm not exaggerating, God, I wish I was. I'm not exaggerating. Everyone in my town's Facebook group complains about him constantly because you can hear that, well, you can hear the music from like four streets away, right? And all of the kids get super excited and they're like, oh my God, the, the ice cream truck's coming, let's go get ice cream. So they'll stand out on the street in front of their houses generally, because that's what you do. But he'll just like whiz right by. Like, hello, we're not standing out here to get a freaking frostbite. And he doesn't like slow down and people constantly complain. I honestly don't know how he makes any money at all. But he'll go like down the most random streets and then stop rather than stopping on a street where there's heaps of kids. Or, and I've seen this because I got stuck behind him once, or he'll stop in the middle, like literally in the middle of the road. Like, dude, people have to get around you, freaking move. And I don't know if it's like this where you are, but in my town, and actually this is very common in Australia in general, um, when you drive down a street, like everyone parks on the street, generally because most families, at the very least in my street, most families have got at minimum two cars, mostly three or four. But so there's like hardly any road to drive down because of all the cars. <laughs> lining the street and so he'll park in the middle of the bloody road <laughs> to uh to sell his ice creams you know like you do i guess do i want to i feel like if i put it on an angle oops sorry i feel like if i put it on an angle i'm not gonna like it when i come back to look at it and it's not like i don't have any type of ocd thing at all i try not to use that term lightly but i think i just prefer but i don't want to cover up all of the ice creams that's the thing i don't want to put it all the way up there because i like this this actually, this little ice cream here reminds me of those um, candy sherbet things you can buy, you know? It looks like an ice cream, but it's like sherbet. Makes me so sick. I can't eat them, but it just reminds me of that. So I kind of want to be able to see that. And um, I think I want to put it down this way. You know, one of the things I really love about this tape, aside from the fact that um, you get heaps on the roll, like there's so much on the roll. This is used, obviously, so it's not the full thing. It's like really big. Um, is that it's easy to rip with fingers. You don't have to cut it. And Kmart used to have a, um, a tape roller. I don't know. Oh, I do still have it, I think. I think this is it. This is the tape roller I bought from Kmart because it was like, I don't know, two bucks or something, $1.75, something like that. It's absolute crap. Don't buy it. I don't recommend it. It's got all of these little tiny... Let's see if I can show you. Sorry, I'm just going off on a tangent. Sorry. So it's got all these little tabs, right? You can see these are all sticky tabs. But, oh my, they're just... Ugh, they're horrible to work with. I don't recommend. Absolutely don't recommend. But I haven't chucked it yet. <laughs> Maybe I'm use waiting for like a um, like an emergency when I'm out of tape or something. I don't know if I'm going to like that. I feel like I'm not going to like that. Maybe I'll move it up. Like here. Eww. You know what? I was just about to say YOLO. Just put it down and I dropped it. Yeah, that's all good. I like that. That's okay. I really wish I had an ice cream. 
washi, although that probably would be overkill, wouldn't it? I don't know, I just kind of wish I had something. I have this, would that work? Probably not. I have such, what's the word? I have a little bit of anxiety about putting stuff like this down because if it doesn't come up, then I'm destroy. Actually, it doesn't look so bad. I just, I'm scared of destroying things, I guess. I think I like that. I think I do. I like it enough to leave it, I guess, for now. I normally like to put a, a nice decorative piece of vellum or acetate here, and I don't have one. So clearly I'm not as organized as I thought I was going to be. That's all right, we'll press on, let's press on. Okay, so normally I'll have my monthly task sheet Ooh, on this side, and then my what I'm watching, playing, and reading list. I like to do the task sheet on the right-hand side just because it's um, easier for me to write on. I guess that's the thing about a Nostalgy. When you first start one, uh, all of the pages on the right-hand side are nicer to write on because you've got all of that um, softness, <laughs> I guess, for lack of a better term, but you've got like all of the, the pages, you know, that you're leaning on, so it's nice and soft and easy to write on. Um, and then on the, the left-hand side, it because it just dips down, it, it it's not so nice to write on. And so usually I just put a book and I've got this Archer and Olive underneath the left-hand side. So I've got some, so it props it up a bit. So it's not just hitting the table. All right, let's get these things down and then I'll fill out my monthly task sheet. Do you guys do a monthly task sheet? Do you find that it works for you? There we go. like that. I'm doing something new this month too, which I'll show you in just a minute. It's new for me. I've never done it before. Um, I think actually I'll come back and I'll fill this out. I just want to get everything down first. I feel like I'm rushing a little bit today because it's taken me so long to get here. Okay, so yes, I am missing a page. So that's freaking stunning. I knew I would. Oh, what did I want to put here? There was something I legit wanted to put here. Oh, was it? I think it was stuff I was going to buy. I think it's my, um, my spend, like what I buy. I think that's what I was going to put here, but I don't actually have an insert for that unless I was just going to use that. No, I think I was, oh, balls. I don't know what I was going to do. Okay, but anyway, I'm so I'm trying a sleep tracker this month because um, I really like the idea of that and I can't actually remember where I got this printable from, um, but I will find it and I will put it in the description if you're interested. Pretty much everything that I talk about will be in the description if even if I don't mention it, which I will try and be better at, I noticed actually that was something that I wasn't very good at in a couple of my other videos because um, I just generally don't even think about it. Honestly, I'm still not used to filming. Do I want to put it on this side? Yeah, probably, A. Eh? Yeah, I'll probably just put it there. But I got this sleep tracker actually from um, Rachel at Rachel, Pla Rachel, Pla Rachel Plans. Rachel, Pl She's one of my favorites. Oh my God, I can't remember her name. I think it's Rachel Plans, Ra Rachel Beauty Plans, possibly. I'll have her linked, obviously, in the description. Um, so yeah, all right, good. Probably should have, wow, that's like right off the page there. Brilliant. How did I manage to stuff that up? Why am I asking? One of my kids nicked off with my bigger pair of scissors, so I have to use my little ones, which I guess is better in the sense that maybe if I go a little bit more carefully, I won't cut crookedly. But I mean, the same could be said if I was using my full pair, right? Like my big pair, but anyway. All right, let's get that. That Yeah, this was definitely going to be for my buys this month. Like, I think I wanted, that was something that I wanted to do was have like a, um, a purchases list for the month because I noticed, no, that doesn't go there. I noticed that I'm actually spending a lot of money this month, even like legit after I said I don't buy. I think it was my last video actually where I was like, no, I don't buy very much. I'm very cheap. And I, that, that is true. I actually, I am very cheap. Uh, but there are instances where I am not. <laughs> and apparently July is one of those months. So... I want to round the corners on these. I have three calendars that I use. One is my social media calendar for Instagram. One is my event calendar for the month. And then one is my YouTube calendar so I can see when I have filmed and posted and all that. So I've got stickers and stuff that I want to put on here. But I guess I should do that first, actually. I should do that first because otherwise I know I'll screw that up. So let's just move that out of the way. So for June, I did something very similar. And I think I even said I didn't want to do this for July because it was kind of a pain in the butt. But as it turns out, I actually like it. So, oh, hang on. 
I just got to wipe this out. This is um, a freebie. This calendar is a freebie from ooh, Printable Kate. I always want to say Kate's Printables. It's very annoying. But her name, her shop, ow, 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 it's Printable Kate. Okay. This one is my event calendar. My event calendar always goes first. And I just print all of these stickers out myself. A couple of you have actually asked me. Actually, first of all, I need to slow down. Where are my tweezers? Here they are. Um, I need to slow down a little bit because, first off, <laughs> welcome to everybody who has subscribed. You guys are absolute legends. I'm so happy that you're here. And if you are new here, um, if I forget to say where things are from, please just ask in the comments. I'm very new at this. If you're, um, if you're new here, then you probably wouldn't know that, but I am very new at this whole filming of my planner thing. And so um, I very often forget things or I don't explain things very well. So if that's the case, then please just call me out in the comments and I will be happy to respond to you. I do reply to everybody fairly quickly too, actually. Um, but there is a time difference. I am in Australia. So if you are not in my country or if you are at the very least not in my time zone, um, then it will take me a little bit to get back to you, but I will get back to you. Let's wipe this thing out. Oh no, am I out? Oh God, am I out? I think I'm out. Oh no. No, I'm not out. I was just being dramatic. All right. I was going to say something else and I don't remember. What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh, I think possibly about um, my stickers. Was I talking about stickers? Oh my God, I'm so forgetful. It's horrible. Oh, I genuinely don't remember what the hell I was just talking about. That's so irritating. I, I seem to, in the back of my head, I seem to think that I was going to tell, tell you guys something about showing you how I do something. Because I know I, a couple of you have asked me if I would um, show how I do a few things. So like in that how I create my inserts or you know where I get where I get everything from like my photos and things like that ow 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 uh and how I oh I know somebody asked me if I if I could show how to do the uh, foiled acetate that I do so I'm happy to do that I will do that actually for you okay so now before I stick this in I'm going to go and put all the headers down which I hope I have sized correctly it's always a fear I have that I haven't sized things correctly. Oh, but it looks like I did. Go me. I do remember actually in June, I said that I wasn't going to do this. and I was going to try and make a long, like one long strip, but that actually ended up just not coming into fruition. I was just too lazy, didn't want to do it. So I just printed them all out individually again. What I did want to do was use the Simply Gilded kits that I have. Cause I was in, I did a Simply Gilded subscription last no that's not right last year i ended up cancelling it because i didn't think it was worth it like it ends up being quite expensive in australia that's crooked that's all right that's fine and so i just i honestly i just didn't think it was worth it and i didn't like what i was seeing i didn't like the themes that were coming out like there was some weird palm thing i don't even know it just wasn't it's just not me at all so i didn't like them and i wanted but i still got them i've still got all the sticker kits and everything but i wanted to use them and so I thought I would put them on here, but as it turns out, the, the date covers are actually too wide for this. These are only two and a half, 2.8 centimeters wide and the date covers are like 3.8 centimeters wide and I didn't feel like doing any type of sticker surgery. I will use them though. I'll probably end up using them in my weeklies at some, at some point because I wanna be able, I just wanna use them. Although having said that the fact that they are, that it is an expensive box to get in Australia, um, I did actually just order the June box <laughs> and I wasn't going, I, like I haven't ordered them in so many months now. Um, and I think I only got three boxes anyway, total before I canceled because I just didn't think it was worth money. But then I saw the, um, the June box and it's called whale tail and oh my God, I'm, I was absolutely in love. And I was like, yeah, I don't care. I don't care how much this is going to cost me. I've got to buy it. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, it's ridiculous. I don't really, I shouldn't be buying things at all. Um, but I am, and so I did. <laughs> but it, I won't get that for another month. I, it takes uh, about four weeks to get here from wherever Simply Gilded is. I have no idea. But yeah, it takes four weeks because for some reason it routes through Japan. Don't ask me why. It just does. They're the only sub box. In fact, they're the only mail that I get ever from the US that routes through Japan for some reason. I don't know why. So this one is my event calendar. I just don't have another icon that I use. I would like to find one though for my events, but I don't actually know what I would use in place of that. So I just use the little, whatever the hell that is. I just use that. It's genuinely bothering me that I have forgotten what I was talking about before. I think it had something to do with, uh, 
everybody who's just subscribed, but I think, I think it had something to do in general with everyone, like all of you. I, oh, I'm so annoyed. I don't know. Oh, that looks all right. I do have to put in some washi or something down here because it looks bald. <laughs> it looks bald and boring. And I made a little goal sticker, which I didn't need to do at all, but I like stickers and I'd like to stick things down and I wanted to. So I did. And I like that and it looks cute. And I didn't need that at all for this month because I have no, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I know a lot of you have left me some really amazing comments. You guys are awesome. Absolute legends, in fact. And uh, I, I've so loved chatting with you guys. And I'm so happy that I have found a few people who are of the same mind as me where it comes to books and things like that, or even life in general. Like that, I mean, everybody wants to find their own people, right? Like you want to find your tribe. Like that's, that's the goal. And um, like, I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but I mean, sometimes you go through your days or your weeks or whatever your life and you think, my God, where are my people? Why haven't I found my people yet? And they come and go, like people come and go all the time. At the end of the day, I think you just sort of hope to find your permanent people. At least I do. I don't know. I don't want to assume that you guys are the same way as me and I apologize, but that's, that's just what I do. So I kind of just assume everyone's the same. Sorry about that. It's a terrible, terrible habit that I have. Just assuming everyone's the same as me and people aren't. Everyone's different. But yeah, I just, um, I'm just, it makes me so happy that I'm, I don't feel alone and I like that. And I just want to say thank you to all of you who, um, who relate to me and, you know, who, who sympathize or empathize or even share the same, the same things as me. I think that's really awesome. So oh, almost put that in upside down. That would have been not good. Oh, I forgot to put my headers on. We'll do that in a minute. I really don't know what type of washi to put down here. I don't really have a lot. I'm so annoyed actually, let me tell you, because, um, I ordered a bunch of, so I'm addicted to AliExpress. If, if I haven't said that at all in any of my other videos, I had gone on there, oh, a month ago or so and I wanted to buy some washi tape I buy a lot of washi off AliExpress actually because it's just such amazing quality and um, it looks really really good like honestly I've only had one bad lot of I don't even know if bad is the right word but I've only had one not so great lot of washi and it's this it's just recently came in the mail where is the it's like hi there we go okay so it's it's, um, what is this, leopard print, as you can see, but it's two completely different colors. Like, I'm not even sure if you can even tell on camera, but they're, they're slightly different colors and I don't care for either one of them. And I wanted them because I wanted brown leopard spots, do you know, like it needed to be brown. And it wasn't, obviously, it's not brown. It's like this weird taupe gray color and it's not, I'm, I'm not a fan. And so I don't like it, but that's really the only, the only disappointing washi that I've gotten from AliExpress so far. So, I ordered a bunch of really thin washi tape. I just need to push this up a bit. Hold on. Nope, that's too high. I'll go with this one. There we go. So I ordered a bunch of um, really thin washi tape because I don't have any really, and I run out of it very, very quickly. It got lost in the mail. I'm really not sure where it was delivered, but I didn't get it. And I'm very upset because it was 24 rolls for like, I don't know, six bucks or something. 24 rolls. And I think that each roll was like four meters of this really nice thin washi. <laughs> and I don't know who got it. I hope they're enjoying it. I got my refund and everything. That's not really the point though. Like the point is I wanted the washi. So now I have to try and find another seller who's got thin washi or go back to the same seller and buy the same washi again and then hope that it gets here. But then if it doesn't, I have to, you know, put in for another refund. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that person because then I'll just feel bad. I'll be like, you know, and I don't want them thinking, oh, she's just buying stuff and she's getting stuff delivered and then just, you know, claiming a refund or whatever, because that's absolutely not the case. And I don't do that. Like I value my karma. I don't care how that sounds. I value my karma. So I would never do anything like that. But I don't want people thinking that, I especially don't want the store thinking that. So I'm really torn. I really don't know what to do. I need to try and get this up because I only printed out two goals stickers. Please come up. Don't be a pain. Oh, I think it's going to come up. Oh, it is. And this is not removable paper. This is the same paper I used for my washi dashboard that gave me so much drama, which by the way, a lot of you really enjoyed watching. So I'm glad. <laughs> I'm really, really glad. 
I debated on cutting that whole section out of that video. It's the um, B6 setup, actually, if you're not, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, if you haven't seen it. Um, and I had such a pain. It, it, sorry, it was such a pain trying to get that washi dashboard done. I was like, I was, oh, that's not in frame. I'm so sorry. It was literally so embarrassing. I was honestly very, very embarrassed. And I was like, no, nah, you're not putting that up. Just delete it. Just cut it out. They'll never know. <laughs> But then I thought, ah, screw it. God, just put it up, you know, whatever. It's, it's what happened. So on this particular calendar, I like to put in when I have filmed or, or the, the types of videos that I want to film. And I've shamelessly stolen this from Becky at Whoops, I did it again, co. And I'll have her channel linked in the description as well uh, because that's what she does. And I love it. And it just looks amazing. And I don't want to take credit for this. I, I didn't put my things down, idiot. Um, I don't want to take credit for thinking of that because I didn't this was all her but it was such an amazing idea that I thought I wanted to try it and see how it was going to work for me yeah I did do that okay and especially now that I have got things that I can film because I was why aren't you just there we go because I wasn't sure what to film and I think I said that in one of my other videos um like I wanted to do more filming because obviously I started a YouTube channel for that reason and I really didn't know what to film, but a couple of you really came through with some suggestions. So thank you so much. Like you have no idea how much I appreciate that. And it's, it's a very fine line, I think too, between filming things because you want to film them and people thinking that you're stealing from other people. And that's very common. Like that happens so much, you know? And so I don't ever want to anyone to think, oh, I'm stealing your idea. I mean, if I'm going to steal it, I'm going to give you credit for it. And I, I, that probably sounds terrible, honestly, that really does, but I don't know how else to say it because it's it's more than just being inspired. Like I'm literally directly copying something that somebody else is doing, but it's because I wasn't clever enough to think of it. And I just really liked whatever that was. If I got an idea off them, in which case, Becky <laughs> and um, Rachel with the sleep tracker. There we go. I actually do like that. I think that's come out really, really well. I just need to find some washi. And I don't have a theme really for the month. So I don't really know what colors or anything I'm going to do. I don't, I don't normally have colored themes or anything. I did it for June because June was Pride Month and I wanted to celebrate that for all my people. Um, but for July, I don't really have anything. So, But I do want to get this down. This is my YouTube checklist and my YouTube ideas list. So uh, both of these, or, well, not this one, but this one, this idea came from uh, Becky. Oh, whoops, I did it again because she does the same thing. She's amazing. I, I'm sure you all probably watch her. She's absolutely amazing. She wasn't like one of the first people I ever found who, who does Stalogy, but she, she's a sort of recent find actually in the last couple of months and I'm obsessed. Same with Rachel. She's a favorite. Dakshina, obviously, favorite. Okay, so I wanna have my checklist here. I'll fill this out as well because I know a lot of you like to watch me write. I'm in awe of people who can write so beautifully. I'm, I'm just not really one of those people and I just don't have the patience. I probably shouldn't have done that so far over, so that's okay. I just don't have the patience to sit and learn. I wish I did though. That's funny because I have all these Udemy courses that I want to take. Let's see if I can get this centered. There we go. Cool beans. Yeah, I have all these um, Udemy courses that I want to take. Well, I'm watching this month. So far, I'm watching The Good Doctor. Obsessed with that show. Are you guys watching that? Have you seen it? Oh my God, it's so good. I'm on season to episode five, I think. So please no spoilers. Atypical, one of my favorite, favorite series ever. I'm on, hang on, The Good Doctor was season two and Atypical, I'm on season four. I'm so sad it's the last season. They're not doing any more after that. I'm playing Minecraft, obsessed with Minecraft. Holy crap, and it's so scary. <laughs> it's weird to say that because it's Minecraft and you think really scary, but yes, it is. Creepers, um, I'm playing The Sims 4 again. And currently that's it. And I am still reading, oh, what is it called? The Gentleman Bastards, I think, is what I'm still reading. Hang on, I need to check. Yes, The Gentleman Bastards, okay. Still not through that. At this rate, I'm just not going to get through them at all for the month and I will fail at getting through the 12 books that I have on my list. Okay, so for my monthly tasks. So I guess the big thing is that I'm back on keto. 
I should have actually done that with a highlight, but I can't highlight over the top of this pen. It's a pilot friction, and if I highlight over the top, it's just gonna smudge. It's so irritating, I hate it. Uh, all right, so I wanna delete, oh my gosh, I absolutely have to do this. I have to delete all of the bots on my Instagram. Like, there's so many. So freaking do it, girl. Do it. I desperately need to clean off my phone. I have had this on my task list for months probably since February. I'm not even, I don't, I don't remember actually, but it's been a really long time. I need to clean and organize my desk. I need to order some Ikea furniture. I desperately need a new chest of drawers because my current chest of drawers is falling apart. It's like, I think they're, I don't even know, seven or eight years old, but they were kind of dodgy. They were like from a cheap shop or something. And we got them from a friend who was cleaning out his house. And I was like, yeah, don't chuck them, I'll take them. And yeah, they're just falling apart now because we've had them for so long. Uh, we need to clean out the garage desperately. So I'm hoping to get that done this month, at least <laughs> a little bit. My car's going in the shop this month. She's going in for a service. We hit 200K kilometers. I can't believe it. We're in the 200K club. Um, I, oh, I want to declutter my clothes because... I don't have that many, actually. I really don't. I'm not a clothes person. I hate shopping. It's one of the worst things in the world for me to do. I absolutely hate it. Um, and But I've got a lot of crap that I don't wear anymore, and I just want to get rid of it. All right, I want to finish two books, including the one that I'm reading. <laughs> I don't want to DNF it. I really don't. I'm enjoying it. I'm just It's just not sucking me in. And so because it's not the type of book that I would normally read, it's not the same. It's not the genre that I normally read. I normally read a lot of trash, a lot of romance trash and um, like erotic romances and stuff like that. Um, so, but I also like horror or, or a thriller or a mystery, not mystery, mystery annoys me. No, that, that is, that's an outright lie. I do like mystery. I like some mysteries. Anyway, whatever we need to get, I want to finish two books this month. Oh God. And I'm, it's probably not going to happen. I don't even know why I'm putting it on here. I need to get my July freebies up. If you don't know, and you wouldn't know unless you came over from my Instagram, I do freebies every month or I've started to do freebies every month. They're just date covers at the moment because that's pretty much all I can do consistently and well. But I want to eventually expand on that. I want to branch out. But in any case, if you're looking for some really cool looking date headers, um, I'll have it in the description if you're interested and you want to download that. I need to buy clothes. Wow, what was that? Buy clothes for my sister's engagement party. I'm dreading this, dreading this so much. I hate buying clothes. All right, I wanted, I really do want to do this Udemy drawing course. I've got so many because I want to learn how to draw. I want to learn how to like, not doodle, but like draw like little, you know how everyone's got like emojis and stuff and like little character drawings and things like that. That's what I want. That's what I want to, know, to do. Uh, and I need to start working on my side hustle. Start side hustle because uh, I want to buy a house and I in addition to my full-time job I want extra money on the side to go towards buying that house right I don't know where you guys are but it the house pricing in this country has gone through the freaking roof it's ridiculous all right let me just do this checklist then I need a smaller book to go under here so we have actually I need to pull out the big guy for this so I need to find that where is that is this it yeah, see, look how pretty that looked in June. Like, I needed to stick with a the theme. I should have stuck with the theme and just printed out my own washi like I did here. <laughs> but no, I didn't. All right, anyway, so what have we got here? We've got film, edit, thumbnail, upload, schedule, posted as as though you know it's gone live on youtube that's what i mean by posted and then social media in that i generally post on my um, instagram that i have uploaded in case anybody wants to see uh, and then here i have video title okay and then these are the days of the week down here so uh, this is the first time i'm filming in july so i'll put that on there uh, but anyway, over here, so we have YouTube video ideas. So we've got the B6 
Stella G. Set up. Basic Stella G flip. And I know so many of you are looking forward to that. I'm so excited to show you. I'm like, this is a sneak peek. If you haven't seen that already, if you're new here and this is the first video, this is a sneak peek of the behemoth that I will be filming a flip through on tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm really, really excited about that, actually. I was going to do a June flip, but I guess I don't need to do that now because I'll be doing my big flip, so I don't need to worry about it. Uh, and then let's do, we could do a plan with me. Plan with me um, slash weekly setup, I guess. Uh, monthly haul. Somebody actually asked me to do a monthly haul video to show off anything that I buy from Australia or, you know, basically just to show where I get my stuff from. How to acetate. I should have wrote foiling. How to foil acetate. That's what that sentence should be. <laughs> God, how to acetate uh, foil. I don't know. That's really ridiculous. <laughs> how to vellum foil. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it for what people have actually asked me to do. So I think that'll probably get me through at least August. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'll have a monthly haul this month because my uh, Simply Gilded thing won't get here until next month. If I have that, I have it. If I don't, I don't. I'm pretty sure I won't though. But anyway, um, I think that is it for my July setup, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. So I'll show you quickly where we, we're at here. I'm really annoyed that I don't have that, the middle... Um, acetate ready to go that's bothering me so much but anyway okay so here we go we start out with july with my little mini calendar which is purely decorative uh and i will never come back and do anything with this it's here forever now <laughs> just to delineate the month for me uh on july we've got facts and trivia of things that have happened in july from 1937 through 2019 i have my what i'm watching playing reading list then we have my monthly tasks we have my sleep oh that's what i forgot to write in idiot all right hang on sleep track uh <laughs> so there we go that's my sleep tracker this will be my purchases for the month my event calendar which i can't fill in because i'm filming on my phone my instagram social media calendar so with this actually what i do is and i'll show you this oh that was not good go down i'll show you this more in depth when I do a flip through, but I always put down a icon sticker of when I have posted and then I have a little key of the type of post that I've done so that I just keep track of that. And then I keep track of the amount of followers that I have per week. And then our, my YouTube calendar will be pretty much the same thing as my Instagram calendar, except it'll just be YouTube and then, you know, the type of video that I have filmed. Uh, and then on this page will be basically telling me what video I've done and then on what day. Yeah, uh, that is pretty much it for July. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, everybody.